Look, comedy time, comedian. You ready? I'll keep your enthusiasm. Yes, yes, yes. You guys are a great audience. You make me. Anyway, this next gentleman uh, you've seen on Comedy Central's Live at Gotham currently can be seen on the Daily Line on the Versus Network. Please welcome Reese Waters. Reese Waters. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. My name is Reese Waters and uh, I am a self-hating smoker. I cannot stand other smokers because they never let me smoke in peace. As Soon as I break one out, hey my man, can I get a cigarette? Hey dog, can I get one? People falling out of trees and whatnot. You ever wonder to yourself why it's socially acceptable for a stranger to walk up to you and ask you for a cigarette? <laughs> like they don't cost money? Why is that okay? I can't walk down the street like, hey, my man, let me get a couple of those chips. <laughs> Excuse me, miss, you think you're gonna buy that hot dog? <laughs> I can't see a guy making out with his girl. Like, you think I can grab a piece of that? <laughs> I trade you for a cigarette. <laughs> I got menthols. There's a lot of misconceptions about drugs though. Like one of the things they tell you is that pot decreases your memory. I didn't find that to be true. I thought that pot increased my memory. Because I will remember stuff that never even happened. <laughs> So I had more memories. <laughs> I actually recently discovered the most powerful drug I've ever had in my life. I was taking a bus home for Christmas because I wanted to treat myself. And I had to use the bathroom. The bus station bathroom is the most powerful drug on the face of the earth. Because I walked in pissed that my bus was late and I walked out just happy to be alive. <laughs> That's some good stuff right there. In less than five minutes, I went from, man, I'm gonna miss the Laker game to, you know, syphilis isn't that bad. <laughs> I, I don't know how many of y'all take the bus, but if you do, I don't know why you paid to get into the show tonight. <laughs> you probably should have saved that money. I was raised on a bus because I grew up with cheap parents. My parents would do stuff like, in the wintertime, heat was for guests. So I'm inviting people over just because it's cold in the house. <laughs> do you know how hard it is to play Nintendo with mittens on? You can't get to the next level. My company comes over, I'm sitting there in my winter coat, my hat, my scarf. I'm like, this is ridiculous, why don't you just turn the heat on? That's how you get your money's worth. I didn't pay all that money for that coat just for you to wear it outside. When I said you was gonna wear it all winter, I meant all winter. I love my parents, but they're what they call old school and what I call racist. It's a very fine line. I got into an argument with my mother once. I said, Mom, ever since I was in eighth grade and you were working for Sonia Rodriguez, you have hated Latinos. She said, that's nonsense. I have always hated Latinos. <laughs> Limit my racism. She didn't like my last girlfriend because she said she was too light-skinned. Yeah, to be fair, she was light-skinned uh, because her mother was white and her father was white. <laughs> she was white, you know. That was the best we could. I remember showing my grandmother a picture of my girlfriend. You buy a wallet, you supposed to take the white people out first. <laughs> I don't wanna call my grandmother old, I prefer the term museum quality. <laughs> I ask 
asked her one time, I said, what's the problem with me dating different people, right? What's the problem? She said, well, I'm afraid you'll become a success later on in life and you will leave a sister for a white girl. I said, well, the best way to solve that is to just date white girls now. <laughs> that way, if I leave her for a sister, then I'm a hero. <laughs> And if later on in life I'm still dating white girls, well, you should have seen that coming. <laughs> I told you who I was. But it was even because my ex-girlfriend's family didn't like me either. They never approved of the relationship. And I wish I could blame that on racism. But they were really cool at first, then they became distant over time. So clearly, they hated me as a person. <laughs> You gotta respect that though. I feel like Martin Luther King would have been proud of her parents. Cause they didn't hate me because of the color of my skin, but the horrible content of my character. <laughs> that was the dream. My mother got it so bad, she won't even root for an athlete unless he's married to a black woman. Her favorite athlete used to be Tiger Woods. Like, it's so good to see a black man breaking barriers. Makes me feel so proud to be black. Then as soon as he got married, there's something about him I just don't like. <laughs> I can't put my finger on it. It wouldn't happen to be that 100 pound white appendage he just sprouted. No, it wouldn't. I asked him, what do you think of Tiger with the sex scandal? That's what we get for messing with those white girls. <laughs> you mean to tell me all those women Tiger had, he couldn't have cheated with one black woman? It would have helped his reputation. Because if Tiger has 10 white women, then it's Tiger is a sex fiend. But if Tiger has 10 black women, then it's Tiger came home. <laughs> That's a story of redemption. We would have gave him the cover of Ebony and everything. His own reality show on BET, In the Woods After Dark. I learned a lot in that relationship though. Like we went to the beach and she got a tan. So she was complaining about having tan lines. We confused me. I think it's sexy when a woman has tan lines. It's kind of like God came down and highlighted everything that was important. <laughs> Makes me feel like I have x-ray vision. <laughs> We used to fight, she used to watch a lot of Lifetime, which I hated. I hated Lifetime. For those of you who don't know, Lifetime is a channel that women watch that makes it impossible for men to date them. <laughs> That's Lifetime. Seriously, we, everything would be fine in the house. I leave for two hours, I come back, now we're fighting. <laughs> over something she saw on Lifetime. That's not fair, ladies. As soon as I come to the door, she's right on top of me. I can't believe you left me while my mama was sick. That didn't even happen to you. <laughs> that was Sally Field. <laughs> what about that time I caught you cheating and you faked your own death to get away with it? <laughs> Why are you bringing up old stuff? <laughs> Thank y'all, I'm Reese Wars. Good for those of you Reese Waters, everybody, yay!